So today I thought I would do a short video about how I'm getting on with being monetized on YouTube. I was monetized around the middle of December, so I am looking at um, my revenue for January to the end of June. Because <clears throat> I've had, what tends to happen is that you'll, you'll get like monetized throughout the month and then you get paid on the 24th of the next month and it's not until you get very close to the end of the month that you know how much you've actually made because you get taxed on that revenue as well so january to may are full months where i have been taxed etc etc june's amount is slightly higher because i haven't reached the 24th of the month yet which is when i would know how much i'd actually made net but it's all quite it's it's all kind of averages so this is for january to uh, the end of my june revenue and i'm going to show you a graph later and you can see where july is now already happening so my net income for january to june was 1071 pounds and 14 pence if i divide that up over the five months that works out at about 178 per month. So far this year I've made 113 videos, so that means my average income per video is £1.57. That is not an income. <laughs> this is very much a small side hustle. It's a small, small side hustle that takes up a lot of my time, but I really enjoy it. I've learnt new skills and it makes my week interesting when I'm doing all the other side hustles as well. So I'm not complaining about it in that respect, but it isn't a lot of money. So on YouTube, you make your money through ads revenue. So every time that um, every time people watch a video and there are ads in it, I get an amount for, for people watching the, the ads basically. But Google keeps 55% of that, so I get the other 45%. And so that is what that £1,071.14 represents. However, that also gets taxed. So that amount includes a deduction of £24.50 so far this year for tax. Um, I don't exactly know how it works out. It's taxes, VAT, whatever it is. Uh, and because this is an income, I guess that's part of it. I don't understand exactly. I tick the agree and continue buttons because if you don't agree to it, you don't get monetized. So I just get on with it. Uh, on top of that, there are other ways that you can earn through your YouTube channel. So I set up the super thanks, which you get within YouTube, and people can donate directly to your channel. Now, that £1,071.14 also includes the super thanks that I've made so far this year, which is £90.93. So that is also a post-tax amount because it's lumped in with that. On top of that, there's also Coffee, which is a donation site that runs separately, and all kinds of creators can use Coffee across their brands. Um, you know, they might be a handmade business, they might be a content creator, and anyone can set up an account and attach it to their their creation, uh, to their website, to whatever it is that they do. And so far this year. I have made £167 on coffee through donations, so again, thanks for that. Um, coffee payments come down to me through PayPal, so that also gets taxed. And so far this year, I have um, I've lost £11.24 in fees to that. So you get all these income streams and all these ways you can possibly make money but they all come with their own taxes VAT whatever they're relatively small amounts but I would imagine if you were earning a big income from YouTube then those tax amounts would be pretty big I'm a very small channel um, I think I'm doing pretty well considering I'm very much a point and shoot, I'm unscripted, I have very low level tech, I don't talk about politics or the news or other incendiary subjects, 
I am like many other small channels, just talking about my life, talking about the things that matter to me, and relating to people on a very ground level basis and people like that. And I follow lots of other channels like that, so there are lots and lots of us out there. And this is just a way for us to stay connected to community, to get out into the world the things that we do, little clever hacks that we have in life. So I do a lot of scratch cooking, um, and I have little frugal hacks on just day-to-day -day life and how I save money, how I budget, and that is what people relate to. Now, most of my income from people who watch my videos doesn't come from subscribers. They reckon on average, I think it's something like 20% of the people that watch a channel tend to be subscribers. So all, all those other people, all that other 80% are people that happen to find you as they're going through their home feed or they've, maybe they've watched a similar video and they happen to find you along the way. And they might only watch one video and never come back again. They might, might watch only the videos in one playlist. They might never subscribe. But the money comes from how many people view your videos and how many ads they watch. It's got nothing to do with your subscribers list. So whereas people get very, um, very het up on the number of subscribers they have, you might get someone who subscribes to your channel um, and then never comes back and watches another video. So the viewers, to me, are, are, are more important than the number of subscribers. We get very caught up in the numbers on things like YouTube, like how many watches, how many views, how many minutes, how many hours were spent, how long did people watch a video for. And at the end of the day, I don't mind. Watch, watch, watch my videos how you want to, enjoy them how you want to, and I will just reap the rewards of whatever Google and YouTube gives me on that basis. Uh, but it has, it has turned it into an enjoyable hobby, I suppose. I mean, I ran my channel for a year before it was monetized, never really thinking that it was ever going to be monetized. So it was quite a surprise when, in the middle of December, I suddenly got notes through from, from YouTube telling me, um, I could monetize my channel if I chose to. And that was quite a revelation, actually, because I suddenly realized, yeah, you know what? People are actually watching and people are interested. And it's part of a, a, a very much a growing community of people who like unfussy, unscripted, non-salacious channels. And I love them. I follow lots of them. I like the authenticity, I like the plainness of it, um, but they take a long time to make, so it depends on the video. Sometimes I just do a single point and shoot, there won't be anything else on it. Sometimes they might be really long, like the, the, the hikes that I do, and you're cutting in lots of scenes. It might be a cooking video where I'm adding ingredients and... Um, doing some time lapse where there's a long boring section of me just chopping vegetables or something. So you have the short videos which might might only take an hour to to put to to record and to put in and then to upload. Other videos might take you know maybe even three or four hours because there are a lot of takes that need to be done, a lot of uh, tweaking of. Um, maybe the sound needs some work, maybe you're, you're cutting a scene in, maybe you're doing the time lapse and you've got to get it just right, maybe you're adding text like I've done with this one here, and that can really take some time. So that £1.57 per video is definitely not reflected in the amount of work that's done, uh, but, you know, if, if you want to make your money at YouTube, you're going to have to be a big commercial channel and just not my kind of thing just just really isn't so I hope you found this interesting uh, the numbers are interesting we are halfway through the year so let's say I double that let's say I double that income and I make just 2,000 let's say I make just over 2,000 pounds a year that'll be alright when it's added to all my other side streams all my other little side hustles all bring in small amounts like that and then when I put them all together into a pot I come up with an income that is more than I spend 
every year and that's the that's the joy of frugality i've managed to get my bills down nice and low which means that i will come out having made a little bit of money i will come out with a small profit and in this day and age if you come out at the end of the year having earned more than you've spent you're doing okay so i hope you've enjoyed that and uh, any questions do add them and i will do another one of these updates um probably in a few months actually um, we'll do like a third quarter and then an end of year. I don't want to talk about end of year. We're barely in summer. I hope we're not even in summer yet. Oh my goodness. Let's not wish the, way, wish the year away. 